Ace Money the name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a BE with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. Mace Money, and this is Sportsbook Robbery. Got three games on the slate today, uh, July 12th. First game, Mercury at the Fever. Lines open to minus two. Mercury is the favorite. Moved a little bit, minus two and a half, minus three. Uh, over under 172 and a half. That bumped up a half, 174 and a half. Mercury is that favorite. You can find him at uh, 143, best odds. Uh, no real leans on that. I do got player props as always. Second game, we got Aces at the Dream. Uh, might be a blowout. Who knows? Show by fourth quarter will be uh, minus 13. Aces as the favorite. That went up a little, minus 14 and a half. Over on the start of that, 166 and a half. That bumped up all the way up to 170. And uh, big time favorites, Aces. Definitely want to choose a money line. It's way too big. And then we got the 10 o'clock game. We got Lynx at uh, Seattle Storm. Line over up at plus three and a half. Lynx is the underdog that bumped all the way up to six and a half. Uh, over under 152. It bumped up a little bit, 154 and a half. And uh, Lynx is the, the underdog, 142, bumped way up to 235. Could be because, uh, probably going to butcher her name, Kalia, Natasha Kalia, I think. She's probably going to be out. That's probably why the line changed. Uh, I got some player props as normal. Let's get into that. East Money, the name, getting paid for the game. Let's go. And a half minus 135 on uh, DraftKings. Dropped a couple plays late last night uh, in the community. They didn't have many lines out, and uh, just in case they changed, which I think one of them did. But uh, just gone over this. It's been on a roll. It's last five games easily. Four out of five, she's gone over this. Um, we are showing right now the line moved to 14 and a half. It's probably a plus money if I looked. Overall, Indiana's ranked 11th in points allowed to the guard position. They're ranked 12th. So they allow some scoring. Uh, I've been getting a little better on defense, but they're not going to stop Natasha. She, um, what's her name has been out, uh, let's see, she's probably still out. Diana Terezi. So since that's happened, she's got a couple plays out too. Uh, something's out. But Terezi was a good, uh, you know, 15 to 20 points easily a game. So Natasha, someone had to step up. So you got uh, Cooper and Cloud who do most of the scoring, as well as uh, Garner, obviously. But um, I'm sticking with Cloud. I feel like the number is still at the right the right level. Always odd shop. Have multiple books because multiple books present different lines, different odds. And if you could. Well, always line shop as well because different books have different lines. But if you could, all line it back. Alternative lines. You could buy it back, say, uh, you know, I have it right here. But if you're spending more money per unit size, always all line it back. You know, it's definitely worth winning less money, but being able to cash your bet. But um, Tasha Cloud, she sh should easily go over this unless she has a real bad day which I highly doubt that'll happen. 
points over 13 and a half. Let's All right, real quick uh, about Cloud. She averaged, I forgot to say this, she's averaging 15 points the last couple games, shooting 50% from the uh, field, 43% from three, and 90% from the foul line. Head-to-head -head when they played, she had uh, went over that number. She had 15 points. But uh, next up, I got Kelsey Mitchell. Now, mind you, I put a couple plays in the community I said the lines were going to change, and this one definitely changed. Uh, I got it at 15 and a half last night. I hope you guys placed it because it's at 17 and a half right now. And if this was a couple weeks ago, I probably would play it at 17 and a half, but I'm a little iffy with her. At 14, uh, 15 and a half, I think she's going to go over at 17, 18, 20. I think she might go over this 17 and a half. But she's exceeded 15 and a half points nine of the last 10 games. They got it all the way up to 17 and a half. So a lot of people must have been playing it when it came out. So use your discretion. They played a couple of days ago, a week ago. She got benched, and then she came in in the fourth quarter, and she... Uh, like two weeks ago, she had like 16 points in the fourth quarter, like maybe 14 points. She's easily capable of going over this. It's just I hope you got it at the better number. You always want to try to beat that starting line or, you know, get the best line you can and not, not get it worse. Uh, that's why I tell people subscribe, turn the notifications on. That's where you get everything I, I bet. And stuff like that. But uh, let's move on. If you can find it lower, take it. All right, next up, we got uh, Caitlin Clark. Rebounds and assists over 16 and a half. I played this last night. <clears throat> Excuse me. I played this last night, too. Uh, they just moved it to even money. I didn't get it at even money. I got it at, like, minus 120 or something like that. Four of the last five easily gone over this. Head to head, 100% hit rate. Succeeded 16 and a half rebounds and assists in the four of the last five, averaging about 18. Phoenix is overall ranked 11th in rebounds allowed, 9th in assists allowed. Now to the guard position, 10th and 10th it gets to. They are one of the worst. Re they allow the most rebounds to the guard position. And Caitlin Clark is good at getting rebounds. She's out there always doing it. Uh, I played this last time. She cashed it. I even put a little sprinkle today on the triple-double. Head-to-head. Uh, -head. She almost cleared it the last time they played. She had nine rebounds, 12 assists, and 20. Uh, I don't know how many points, but it was over that. Uh, doesn't say. It's on rebounds and assists. But uh, she went over 10 points. So she was uh, one rebound away. Uh, she had a triple double a couple of days ago versus Liberty. I figure uh, a little sprinkle, nothing crazy. It's at like plus 500, plus 600. So I, I bet like $10. To get like 60. Nothing crazy. Uh, she's a beast. You could play her assist. I just think assist with the rebounds. Assists are at nine and a half. Uh, at least they were. Yeah, they still are. That even got bumped up. I think she's easily going to have 10, 12 assists, easily. As well as six, seven, eight rebounds. She could have more. Like I said, she could get that triple double. But uh, I just think it's better. It gives you more odds to hit if you choose rebounds with assists with Caitlin Clark, especially against this Phoenix team. Like I said, they're almost last in uh, 
rebounds allowed to the guard position. Caitlin Clark's a good rebounder as it is. Uh, should be an easy catch. Let's get it. Let's move on. Nine a game. I got one play. Kelsey Plum assists over three and a half. We got it at 140, minus 145 on DraftKings. I played it minus 150 on FanDuel. And what I did was they offered a 30% uh, increase in odds, an odds boost on FanDuel. So I added it to this play and it brought it down to like minus 110. Uh, she, hit, she, didn't, she hit this last game. She missed it the three games before that, but she went off scoring. Those three games. 70% uh, hit rate for the year. 71% for the year for this number, three and a half. Head to head. Let's see what she did. Played once this year. She had six assists. Atlanta's eighth in uh, assists allowed. I mean, to the guard position, they get a little worse. It says fourth. With Kelsey Plum, you know, even the Aces, they're just a beast of a team. Uh, defending champions, uh, for her to get four assists is pretty simple. I think she's going to get it easily. Uh, ain't really much else to say. Succeeded three and a half assists in five of her last six games on the road. Could switch it to away games. Bam, bam. Oh, it's oh, it's on head to head. Sorry. Four out of the last five. It says five out of six if I would have broke it down to ten. But yeah, three and a half, and then with the odds boost, thirty percent odds boost. Bring it back down to a regular play. No problem. We got it. Cash money. Let's like that video. New viewers, please subscribe. Everyone, turn your notifications on. That's where you get my plays, my live bets. Uh, whatever I do, you get. I'll be as tra I try to be as transparent as possible. Um, like, for instance, last night, the lines weren't really out. They had a couple. I dropped them in the community. We got that Mitchell line at uh, 15 and a half. It's at 17 and a half right now. As well as they don't have live betting for WNBA, but uh, NBA, football, shit like that. Uh, you get whatever I do. If you could also leave a comment. Likes and comments help get the video out there so more people can see them. Uh, more views hopefully lead to more subscribers and so on and so forth. Uh, I just hit the three-month mark. This last week, so uh, gained a couple subscribers as well. So all you people watching, I appreciate you. Thank you. Let's keep it moving. Bridget Carlton, it's been a cash cow for us. Uh, three pointers over two and a half. They got it at plus one ten. It's usually a little lower, but um, Seattle is a good defender for the three ball. Overall, they're ranked fourth. That's why it's in red. Trying to say that it's not a decent play to the guard, they're like second, which it gets worse. Trying to say that's worse for us, but if you know Bridget Carlton, she's a fucking beast. The second since the beginning of June, she's missed this line one, two, three, four times. So if you played this every time, which we played it a lot of times, uh, wasn't that many, but. Be killing it right now. Four misses. Always keep your unit size the same. You don't jockey your unit size. You'd be you'd be paying your rent right now with that money. But uh one, two, three, five out of the last seven, she's went over this. She's shooting fit forty nine percent from threes. It's a beast. The safer play. Possibly could be her points. 
She doesn't shoot all threes. She does shoot a couple twos or will drive. But uh, she shoots a lot of threes. She also gets to the foul line. So as you see, her points line is over there too. But uh, shooting 48% from the field. Let's just say the last three games, six, eight, and four threes she took. Nine, 10, and seven shots. Six seventy nine. So she's taking like an extra like three two pointers uh throughout the the games. So it's not all threes. When she gets to the line, she hits her foul her foul shots. Forty eight percent from the field, forty nine from threes, and seventy eight from the foul line. I'm gonna keep rocking with her until she shows me that she's fell off. So Bridget Carlton, two and a half threes is what I played. Uh plus one ten. It's a fifty percent hit rate for this for the year. Uh I played Drew Loy rebounds over four and a half. Plus one twenty five. Uh Minnesota's twelfth. Overall and rebounds allowed. Then to the guard position, they're eleventh. It's only twelve teams, so they're bad. Uh, Fifty percent hit rate for the year. It's up and down, but uh, she's averaging four point five for the year, so she's right at this number technically. The reason why I liked it though was because the rebounds allowed part to Minnesota. Um, but head to head, they played three times this year. Three times she's easily went over this. Ten the first game, May uh, May fourteenth they played. She had ten. And then May seventeenth she had six. And then June ninth she had seven. Uh, even going back all the way to last year for you know seven out of. Eight games, she's went over this against them. So she does weir, uh, real well rebounding against Minnesota. So that's why I played it. Um, with high odds like this, plus 125, I, I always say don't jockey your unit size. But for plus money plays, I always bet a little bit less. Like Three-quarter unit or something like that. Just because they're harder to hit, it's less, less of a chance you will hit it. But, uh, yeah. So I normally bet $25 a play. This play, I did bet 20 um, I always try to be as transparent as possible. I tell you exactly what I did, how I did it, when I did it. So let's get it. I appreciate everybody. Uh, like I said earlier, if you could like the video, new viewers, please subscribe. And uh, turn the notifications on so you get everything I do. Ace money to name, getting paid for the game. Let's go. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.